Although most printers have wireless capabilities, some models have more connectivity options. Depending on what you're using your printer for, you may prefer one option over another. For example, it's fairly common for printers to wirelessly connect to devices using Wi-Fi, and it can be a good choice for a laptop or desktop setup. However, it may not be the most convenient way to print something from your smartphone. Conversely, printers with mobile apps can make printing from your mobile devices easier, but they may not work for computers. We've tested over 130 printers, and below are our recommendations for the best wireless printers you can buy. Also, check out our picks for the best all-in-one printers, the best home printers, and the best air print printers. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Brother MFC L8905 CDW. The best wireless printer we've tested is the Brother MFC L8905 CDW. This color laser all-in-one has nearly everything you'd need for a small or home office. You can connect to the printer via your existing Wi-Fi, if you don't have one, the printer can generate its own wireless network. The scanner can process up to 32 pages per minute through the automatic feeder and supports automatic single-pass duplex scanning making it easy to scan long and double-sided documents. The scan quality is outstanding, no complaints there. Printing-wise, it produces incredibly sharp documents and prints quickly up to 32 pages per minute, black or color. It yields a large number of prints, so you won't have to replace the toner cartridges often. The toner cartridges aren't overly expensive, though you'll have to spend extra to replace the drum. The printer feels very well built, and the design allows easy access to the sheet rollers to remove paper jams. Cheaper variants exist, like the Brother MFC L8610 CDW, which lacks duplex scanning and NFC support. See more details about the variants in our full review. Number 2. Canon Color Image Class MF656 CDW. The Canon Color Image Class MF656 CDW is a good option if you want something less expensive. This all-in-one color laser printer has the same features as the Brother above and produces equally sharp documents. It also yields more color prints and is easier to maintain, as its toner cartridges contain the drum, so you don't need to replace the drum separately. The main trade-off is printing speed. It prints up to 22 pages per minute, which is much slower than the Brother, and you can only get that speed over a wired USB or Ethernet connection. It's inconvenient if you don't have space near the computer or router or just want to keep your setup free of unsightly cables. Again, cheaper variants are available, see our full review for more details. If you only need to print in black, get the Brother MFC L2750DW instead. It produces high-quality documents, warms up quickly, and prints up to 36 pages per minute. Its black toner cartridge page yield lags behind the Canon printers, however, its cost per print is lower because the cartridge is cheaper, and there's only one cartridge to replace. Naturally, the drawback is that it can't print in color, so you need to be sure you won't need color printing in the future. There are cheaper variants if you don't need all the features on the MFC 2750DW, and you can also get bundles that come with a high-yield cartridge, which might be cheaper than buying it separately. Number 3. Brother MFC J4335DW. A more modest mid-range model might be a better choice if you're looking for a printer for home use. We recommend the Brother MFC J4335DW, one of the best wireless printers for home use we've tested. You can print thousands of pages before its cartridges run out of ink, reducing the frequency you need to replace them, though their page yield falls slightly short of the Canon Color Image Class MF656 CDW, regardless, you can always go for XL cartridges that'll last longer, which might be cheaper in the long run, not to mention more environmentally friendly. Its ADF-equipped scanner scans up to 20 pages per minute. It has optical character recognition, OCR, capability, allowing you to scan documents into text files and easily search for keywords. It prints very detailed photos but doesn't have the widest color range, and its color accuracy is only passable. You can get the slightly more expensive Brother MFC J4535DW variant if you need Ethernet. It also has NFC support, a larger touch-sensitive display, and an additional 250 sheet input tray. Number 4. Brother MFC J1205W slash MFC J1215W. We chose the Brother MFC J1205W for the budget pick, 
also known as the Brother MFC 1215W if you're shopping at Walmart. It's a simple, all-in-one inkjet model with a sturdy build, wireless connectivity, and a basic flatbed scanner. It prints black and color documents well, although its printing speed of 9 black or 6 color pages per minute is very slow, so you'll have to be patient during large print jobs. You don't need to replace the ink cartridges too often, as they're good for around 1100 black and 750 color prints. Plus, replacement cartridges are relatively cheap, which helps keep your maintenance costs low. Printed photos have some graininess and banding, but they still look decent, and the colors are reasonably accurate. All in all, it's a good option for people who only print occasionally. Number 5. HP OfficeJet 250. The best portable printer we've tested is the HP OfficeJet 250, an all-in-one inkjet model with a built-in rechargeable battery. It's a great option if you have to travel for work or print receipts at an outdoor event. You can connect to the printer via an existing Wi-Fi network, and the printer can also generate its own Wi-Fi signal, Wi-Fi Direct. It produces fairly sharp documents that look good enough for a professional work environment. The one big drawback is printing speed, as it only pushes out three black or six color pages per minute when plugged in, and it's even slower when running on battery. The battery is good for about 225 prints and takes around two hours to charge. Aside from its slow printing speed, another downside of this printer is its low page yield. The cartridges aren't overly expensive, but because the cartridges don't last very long, the cost will still add up if you print a lot. You can increase the page yield slightly with XL ink cartridges, and the printer also accepts third-party ink, which might be cheaper. Unsurprisingly, it doesn't have a flatbed scanner, as it would make the printer too cumbersome to carry around. 